Hi, everybody. This is Russell Broadhead with Heroes of Hearing, and I am so excited to see you at your upcoming appointment to get fit with your hearing aids. This is one of the several videos I have you watching uh, before you come in um, that you can also use as a resource to go back to when you have any questions. So today we're going to cover, we're going to fit your hearing devices, we're going to run real air measurement, we're going to hit target, but then we're going to go over your indicators. Now your hearing aids will tell you what's happening and there's different sounds for that. So I'm going to spend the the chunk of this video going through those and playing those sounds so you can have an idea of what it's going to sound like. And then that way you can jump back to this video if you heard a sound and you're like, I have no idea what that is. You'll use this as a reference point, okay? So let me jump back in and share my screen. I already tried to do this earlier and apparently I wasn't recording, so. Um, but uh, this is the screen that I see on my side, so you don't have to worry about this. But what happens is when your hearing aids are in, I want to make sure that they're balanced in regards to hearing the tone. So if you're hearing battery a lot louder in one ear than the other, then I want to make sure that they're about the same. Um, same thing with any type of tones. So that's what we're going to be doing during the section of the indicators. But with the hearing aids, when your batteries are low, you're going to hear this sound. Battery. Okay bump bump battery. It means it's time to change your batteries. Um, but since you have the rechargeable batteries, you don't need to worry about putting batteries in. You're just going to put them on the charger. Okay. So with your rechargeable batteries, just like your cell phone, you're going to plug them in every night. You're going to put them in the charger to charge them every night. You should be able to go all day without having you or yourself hear battery. So if you're for some reason getting like four hours, six hours, and it's consistent where every day, like it's not lasting as long, reach out to my office so we can get you squared away and taken care of because that's not normal. You should be able to go all day. But again, you hear battery. Battery. And put them in the charger, okay? Or put a new battery in if you have the battery operated ones that you get disposable, okay? The next section is the sound that when they turn on. Okay, so that little cord going up to a higher pitch, that means they're turning on. So I do have a delay put on your hearing aids, so it gives you time to like put them in without like getting any type of feedback or whistling. Um, if for some reason you're not hearing any of that, but you're hearing the whistling, let me know. I can actually make this a little bit longer, so it takes longer time for the them to turn on, so you can put them in. If you need me to shorten that down too, I can also do that. Just reach out, let me know. And what's great about this is we can all we can do this remotely, right? So you don't need to worry about driving down to the office and waiting and doing all that. We can schedule a telehear appointment and get you squared away, um, which is awesome. So if you hear this sound, just turn it on. And by default, if you press and hold the button for four or five seconds, they're gonna shut off. Okay, and that's what you're going to hear. So um, when we look at that, you really shouldn't be turning them off at all. But uh, if for some reason you accidentally pushed the button and held it in too long and you hear that sound, now you're not hearing anything out of your hearing aid, you just shut it off. Okay, so to turn it back on, let go of the button. Wait a couple seconds, press and hold the button for another three or four seconds, and then you'll sh you should hear the sound letting you know that they're um, turning on. Now, with your hearing aids themselves, we have a bunch of different settings. I just try to keep it really basic and simple. So you're going to have like one automatic everyday setting, and that is going to automatically survey the area and switch and do different things before you even hear the sound. Um, but if we do need to set up certain programs for different environments, that's where we do that here. And you just need to let me know um, in your follow-up appointments if that's something we need to do. But first, we just want to make sure we make it through the first couple of weeks. We're hitting target and you're good to go before we set up any other settings. But your regular automatic everyday setting is... Every day. Is every day. So you'll hear him say every day every time you switch into your everyday setting. If you've created any custom memories in the app, 
Okay, you're gonna hear that sound. That just means you're switching to your custom memory. Um, and if you're streaming any audio, if you jump on a telephone call, anything like that, okay, this means it's switching to stream, and that's the program that it's, it's switching to when it streams to your ears, okay? Um, if you're having it go back and forth, back and forth. Every day. You keep hearing every day throughout the day. That's not normal. That shouldn't be happening. Um, it could be you have some of your settings on your phone set up to where you're hearing like when you tap on your keyboard or um, when you have an alert on your phone. Uh, those things, if, you're, if you have those all turned on, then yeah, then it's going to keep jumping back and forth. So we definitely want to make sure we get that squared away. I think it's annoying, but you might like it. So if you like it, you can keep it. But, but that's that's what that sounds like. The other thing is you're hearing aid volume. Now, normally I'll set it up to where the right side raises the volume and it actually raises and lowers it for both for the hearing aids up over the ear. If you have the custom hearing devices, then um, I usually will set it up to where right raises it, the left lowers it. Um, but I can have your buttons do a bunch of different things. So if we need to make it easier, uh, let me know and I definitely can, can do that there. But you're going to hear it in, in your hearing aids when you push the buttons on the devices. Now you can use the Thrive app to adjust the volume. You're not going to hear the beeps and all the stuff you're going to hear now. Um, and if you want to do that, that's great. But if you are using the buttons on the device, this is what you're going to hear. So anytime I go higher or lower, I'm just going to hear a beep. Okay, that means I'm changing the volume. If I've gone to the lowest, you're going to hear a long beep. Okay, that's the softest I can go. And you're only going to hear it once. I keep pushing it so you can hear it, but you're going to hear that one long solid beep. Um, if you've gone to the max, you're gonna hear five beeps really fast right after each other, okay? That's the max, it's not gonna go louder than that. If you're finding that the max and the lowest, you don't like where it's set, um, let me know, I can definitely go in and make adjustments to that. Um, but usually you should be fine where we're set at default wise. Um, the home volume where I have you programmed at is three beeps, okay? That's where I have your program. So if you're like, I don't know, am I too soft? Am I too loud? Listen for the three beeps that let you know your pro you're set at the volume I have you set at and you're good to go. Um, for some reason, if you're like, well, I'm set at that, but everything's too soft. There could be a, a few other things that are happening, right? It could be your filters are getting plugged up. The sound's not coming out. So, um, watch those videos on how to change the filters. Uh, you definitely can jump into the app and run self-check and that's going to show you if you have an issue or not but uh, but that's um, that could be one of the things it could be a bunch of different things that are occurring but we want to make sure that the volume is set where it needs to be and that's what the volume sounds like if you have any type of streaming device um, like a tv streamer um, or any of the accessories where it's streaming audio anytime you start and stop the streaming you're going to hear this okay that means it's starting starting to stream to your hearing aids and you'll start to hear the tv or um whatever you have streaming to it there um as far as the accessory volume you can press it on the accessory make it louder and softer Kind of the same thing, you're going to hear that kind of beep letting you know you're changing it up or down. That's the minimum. Okay, the five beeps, that's the maximum. So that's pretty, pretty simple. Um, you also have uh, the hearing, it has the ability for me to mute them. Uh, normally I have this turned off. Like I don't even program the hearing aid to do this, but if you want to have a feature where you push the button a certain way and it mutes your hearing aids, um, we can, and this is what it sounds like. Okay. That just means you're muting your microphones. Okay. Um, there is a feature in the app where you can jump into um, comfort boost. So you will hear this when you push that button. 
for some of the hearing aids, if we turn it on where you can just kind of double tap your ear to jump into it, um, you're going to hear this too when you when it's enabled. Okay, and that means you're jumped into Comfort Boost. Okay. Um, for your fall alerts, this I have covered in a, another video when you jump in to set it up. So definitely watch that video. But your fall alerts, what happens is if you have it set up correctly and you fall, you're going to hear this letting you know that it sent a message. Alert sent. Okay, it sent the alert. And then if the person that you've connected with that you put in your con your emergency contacts and set it up, set up the um the fall alert with and they've received it and looked at it alert received okay they're gonna you're gonna hear alert received so now you know that they saw your alert they hopefully should be either calling you or coming to find you um and it will show them where you're at which is pretty cool um as long as you have everything set up correctly so watch the video on on that if for some reason um, you accidentally fell, but then you're okay and you want to cancel it, you'll have a chance to cancel it on in the app. Alert canceled. You'll hear it say alert canceled. That means, hey, we canceled it, you're good to go. Um, and then for some reason, if you're too far away from your device and it wasn't able to connect or you didn't have the Thrive app opened and running in the background or your Bluetooth was off, then you're going to hear this. Okay, communication failure it didn't send the message, okay? Um, some of your devices have an assistant. The assistant is all through, done through Amazon Alexa. So you have to log into your um, Alexa account and get that all set up. Um, but when you have your assistant, uh, you're gonna hear this, letting you know your assistant is ready. Okay. And then if for some reason it's not connecting to your assistant, you're going to get that communication failure noise. Okay. And then the last thing I wanted to go over is edge mode. Edge mode is pretty cool. Edge mode is used for when we're in a, a, a restaurant or a large gathering. There's a lot of noise around us and we want the hearing aid to process as much as it can with the background noise. Um, you're gonna wanna jump into edge mode. I can turn this on to where you can double tap your ear and as you double tap your ear, it goes into it or on the app, you'll click the little sundial in the front on the main part of the screen in the Thrive app and you're gonna hear this. Okay, this reminds me of good old Mario back in the day. Video games, you just hear the coin letting you know it's activating edge mode, okay? So you're gonna wanna make sure that when you're done being in that louder environment that you just check and make sure it's turned off. If you're in edge mode for a long period of time, it, it does drain your battery a little bit more because it's working overtime trying to process all the noise around you. If for some reason edge mode is not working, okay, you're going to hear that. And it could be again, your Bluetooth turned off or, or something's happening. Um, those are your indicators. That's what I wanted to just jump in and just share with you. Use this as a resource to go through and, um, you know, there's a bunch of others that aren't set up right now, um, like telephone, tinnitus, and manual alert. Some of these we don't need to set up because you, a lot of the devices now will connect right to your Bluetooth on your cell phones. So, so that is what your indicators sound like. Thanks again for watching this video. If you have any feedback, reach out to me, let me know. You can shoot me an email or just um, let me know in your appointment and I'll see you in the next video.